So today we're going to compare two of the popular millimeter wave sensors that I've been playing with recently. The first one is this one from Atom. The second one is this one from Screek. So when you compare these two sensors, they're really two different systems altogether. They have one thing in common, well two things, first of all they're both millimeter wave sensors and second of all they both run on ESP Home. And that's one of the platforms that I'm using more and more because it's directly integrated into Home Assistant. Alright, so if we look at the Atom first of all, it's a much more neatly packaged device. Um, it looks like a finished product, has this really cool base for mounting it and um, obviously it's quite a finished product. This Creek, on the other hand, is in a 3D printed case and you need to do something to mount it. So I've used one of these little 3M Velcro pads on the back that allows me to mount it so that I can get it working. Now, when it comes to functionality of these devices, um, the Atom has both a PIR sensor as well as a millimeter wave sensor. Whereas the Creek has the millimeter wave sensor but it offers you a whole lot more functionality on the millimeter wave sensor. For example, it has three zones that it can detect. Now the zone detection on this device is in its early stages. So there's a lot of beta updates on the firmware coming through at the moment. I've loaded up two of the betas. Um, I'm still working on it to get into some of the later betas. Now this is a real it's a DIY project that is being updated all of the time. And I think there's a lot of opportunity for these guys to become a really good manufacturer. But it is in the early stages, so don't expect a fully operational, professional product. This is very much in development. But it offers some really cool features. Like you can actually detect how many people in the room. You can even detect their positions in the room and you can also detect the speed that they're moving at. So a huge amount of functionality and I look forward to seeing where this device is going to go. On the other hand... Alright, so as you can see we've got the two sensors set up here on a dashboard. On the left hand side we've got the Screek. It'll tell us how many targets it's located, the presence, um, it also has a, a light sensor and then it actually shows the position and speed of each target. On the right we have the Atom. Um, that has got the light sensor as well, and then it has the millimeter wave clear at the moment, occupancy, and the PIR. So follow me now as I walk into the room that's got these two sensors set up directly next to them, and you will see the way that they pick me up. So still clear, there we go. So the Screek has picked me up first, and the PIR sensor of the Atom shortly after that. As you can see, the Atom is a bit slow on the PR on the millimeter wave side. There we go. It's kicked in with detection now. The Screek, as you can see, is now following me. It's showing at the top there that we have one target detected. And as I move around, it is actually showing the position of me as a target and also the speed that I'm moving at. So what I'm going to do now is move out of this room and then we'll wait and see which ones kick off as I move away from them. So here we go, there we go, currently still detected, still detected, okay, millimeter wave of the Atom has cleared first, occupancy is cleared as well, the Screek's cleared, and now the PR is cleared. So that gives you a pretty good idea of the comparison of how these two sensors work. So it's pretty much the same as what the PIR is detecting. So this one effectively comes on immediately, I work into the room on millimeter wave, um, now, the other thing that I tested on these devices was the angle of detection. So the Screek seems to have a very narrow angle. Um, I would guess it's somewhere between 30 and 40 degrees angle. So you really have to be right in the detection angle for this device to work. On the other hand, the Atom, it has a really wide angle. Um, I'm not able to check, no, exactly but maybe a 140 degree angle, very, very wide angle, and seems to hold the actual um, the millimeter wave detection as well. So yeah, two very different devices, two very different um, type of applications, I would say. If you're wanting to play around with some of the latest stuff from millimeter wave, 
constantly be updating it and playing around definitely squeak is your one if you want something that's a more finished product that you can install now and have using in your home this is the one bit about millimeter wave you can actually hide it away behind your plasterboard because it sees right through it so really interesting products i'll keep playing with them and i'll give you some more feedback as we go that's all for now have a great week bye then